We are in Guitar Mageddon's ZL1, and it is not a normal stock ZL1. We reviewed a Z28, and it was awesome. Absolutely incredible driver's car. This is obviously uh, more focused on straight line speed instead of cornering. What have you done to it so far? Well, full bolt-on pretty much. Okay. So we've got, yeah, what does that mean in uh, so Camaro world? Yeah, so full bolt-on basically is saying like, all the pulleys are done, you know, fuel injectors, I've got an air intake, I've got headers, no caps. I do have the stock cap back, believe it or not, the stock cap back system is still on this car. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, there's a, a cam, that's that lope that you're hearing. There's a cam, there's and all the supporting mods like springs and push rods and whatnot. I also have a flex fuel system on this, so I can run oh, nice. partial like E85. Yeah. And other than that... Um, yeah, like I said, full bolt on. The, the, the supercharger isn't touched, so like it's not ported out or anything. It's a stock, stock supercharger, stock transmission, stock engine. I don't have heads or anything, but yeah. Yeah, so it was a 6.2 liter LSA supercharged, 580 horsepower. Now it's, what, you are saying 200 more or something now like that? Now it's like, well, I mean, to the wheels, it's like 700. Okay. So you figure, if, if we're going to estimate a crank, it's going to be like over 800. Yeah, that's yeah. fast. And it ran a 10-2 quarter mile. That's pretty freaking awesome. 10-2 at 136, yep. yeah. Yeah. Oh, 136, so, that's fast. That's yeah. cooking. And then you ran a 244 mile an hour one. I did. One. That, that one was way more true <laughs> than the 10-2. That's ridiculous. I've never seen it. Actually, I have seen something like that. My friend Z06, and he won't believe that it's not possible. He ran like a 10-5, which is faster, the fastest I've ever run in the Huracan's 10-7, but his 60 foot was 0.7 seconds, which is not possible. Yeah, but he's right. like, oh yeah, I got a good launch. I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> no. Like if you ran a 1-5 60 foot, that would be ridiculous. Yeah. But 0.7, we looked it up, 0.7 is the same as a top fuel dragster. So unless he thinks the Z06 yeah. is that fast, which he does clearly. Uh, not unlikely. Well, dude, that ten two passed. That yeah, was, that was a one five sixty foot. Oh shit, that's good. Yeah. We're following uh, Troy in his twelve C, which Eddie is in right now, and probably just I don't know, uh -oh. freaking out. <laughs> So yeah, you've got the stock transmission in this. I actually was expecting it to be a manual when I first got in, so I'm like looking for the clutch. Yeah. What uh, what brand of tires, what type of tires do you have on this right now? Um, They are, the rears are Nitto NTO 5R okay. drag rails. Okay, a lot of people use those. Yep. And the, um, the fronts are just the stock Goodyear Eagle F1 supercars. Cool. 285s. And those probably were not enough when uh, on the back when you upgraded the power no probably not even enough no. in stock form no yeah honest. i mean i barely had anything done to my car and i upgraded the tires and it was a world difference that's awesome so tires do make a massive oh my difference God, they, do they ever yeah i'm thinking about new tires potentially on the huracan i think with uh trofeo r's it would be able to launch a lot better and be a lot better on the track but sure. they last like they don't. Yeah, like, the are nice tires, but they don't last. Two to three thousand miles, and they're pretty expensive. Oh yeah. But the, uh, yeah, the NTO five Rs are a really common tire. A lot of my friends with GTRs run those when they uh, go full bolt on. Yep. So what made you want to get a ZL one? And did you plan on modifying it? Wow, that one came out of nowhere. Do you plan on modifying it from right off the bat, or? Um. No, actually, I planned on uh, it being a garage queen. Okay. <laughs> and now it's like total race car. So it's completely opposite of what I was going to do. Gotcha. But, um, yeah. How long have you had it? I've had it for a year and a half. Last right. February. Does that say track right now? Uh, yeah. All right, there you go. Steering wheel's going to be a little tighter. Stiffer suspension. Yep. Yeah, steering definitely feels different than the Z28. The Z28's way stiffer yeah. with the steering. And that car, I don't know, you felt really confident because it had, I don't want to say only 505 horsepower, but it, it had a lot oh, yeah. less than this. You could really floor it at almost any point in time, even slightly with the steering wheel turn. I mean, I tried to launch the car at 4,000 RPMs, and it still didn't even really chirp the tires. It just freaking went. Yeah. But this is a... This is a different animal for sure. Yep. I mean, that car would not <laughs> run a 10-2 in the quarter mile. Not even close. I think stock, these run like a 12-1. So that's a huge improvement. That's pretty yeah, nuts. This, yeah, this car stock is definitely... 
How far is the track from here? From my house, it's an hour and a half. That's oh, what sucks. wow. I know. That's intense. Yeah, yeah, we've got a track that's like 20 minutes away, so that's yeah, nice. You're lucky. And it's pretty well prepped, too. Is this a drag strip? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not a Is track. that where you raced your Huracan? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that, uh, pretty much all of my friends have set some of the best times that they ever have at that strip, Milan. Uh, and then Saul Mondrin went there and raced his 918 against the Remock. But he lost. I don't. He he hasn't told me what he got. I'm not sure. The Remock got a nine nine, so he clearly got slower than that in the nine eighteen, yeah. which is interesting. See, the thing is, um, like those cars, like those guys come out with these quarter mile times and shit, and that's like fucking test after test. Oh you know yeah, I mean? you know yeah. Like trying to get these times out of a car that's not a drag strip car. It's a fucking supercar, yeah. like a track car. So like, um, they're launching these cars at speeds or like conditions that you probably wouldn't want to do on the street you know what i'm saying 100 percent, yeah so not to mention i'm sure car and driver and motor trend know exactly what to do to get the best possible quarter mile time because at least in my perspective if a magazine releases a better quarter mile time than anyone else that generates a bunch of buzz it does so if all of a sudden yep. you're like whoa i forget who released it but the 918 got 2.2 seconds to 60 Instead everyone's yeah, yeah everyone's gonna jump to that page yep um but obviously, it's a quick car. But uh, drag radials make such a big difference in a, in a high horsepower rear wheel drive car for sure. Yeah. Are you in drive? I'm gonna put you in sport mode. Okay, cool. So don't you don't have to worry about using the paddles. This right. this mode is tuned, so the tranny is gonna shift like hard. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Does it downshift at all for you or no? If you start going nuts on corners and yeah. breaking hard, yes, it will. Cool. It'll hold RPMs if you're like getting on it too. Nice. I drive in this boat everywhere I go. Gotcha. It's, it's what yeah, the car I never. Is uh, for, you know what I mean? I never drive in normal modes, but yeah. driving someone else's car for the first time, not trying to go crazy. Yeah. I actually like the interior in this a lot. I don't remember the Z28 having this black piano black trim uh, this, all the way around. This is ZL1 specific. Yeah, okay, gotcha. That's why. Looks nice. The seats are nice it's too. It's like a sparkle, actually. Interesting. You can even see it, but. There's a nice light too at night. I don't know if you've ever drove one of these at night, but no. there's a light that comes down here oh, and cool. lights it up. Pretty good visibility over the hood. What are your favorite parts about this car? Obviously, the power, Just but listen. anything else? Just listening listen. to it? Yeah. Put the windows down and listen. I mean, honestly, it's it's. I've always been a V8 guy. Gotcha. And I've been a Camaro guy. My dad had a 69 Camaro SS 396 and a very rare Camaro. Yeah. And today, they'd be worth six figures in good condition. Yeah, I bet but, he's pretty pissed he sold that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he sold it and someone wrecked it. So oh. he's even more pissed. But either way, um, I've always wanted one. And honestly, I was going to buy a 69 Camaro instead of this car. And I, and I thought about it and I was like, you know, I said, at the time, I didn't know a lot about the classics. And I'm like, I'm not going to go spend, you know, 40 to 50 grand on a nice classic car and figure out maybe something's wrong with it and I don't know how to fix it because yeah. the thing with those cars is there is no warranty and um, you know me being the, like a guy just, just gonna buy a Camaro I'm like well I can buy this 69 SS that is gonna be awesome but I'm also like about speed and I want to go fast and like I want to have amenities so I was like well the ZL1 is gonna be just as fast if not faster than like an old muscle car yeah you know? And it's going to have AC, it's going to have, uh, you know, airbags, and it's going to have a warranty. For sure. So it's, I just, it was kind of, I don't want to say it was an impulse buy, but it kind of was. Because I was <laughs> like, funny. dude, I, then I started really getting into, like, researching the ZL1 and stuff. Yep. And decided, I was like, yeah, this is the car for me, you know. The, the amount of performance you get just with the car and the value oh, is yeah. what I liked about it, you know. You don't have to spend... You don't have to spend six figures to get decent performance, which is cool. But I mean, obviously, it's a GM car, so that's why it's. They see yep. There's plastic here. There's plastic. How about reliability? How's this been? Reliable? Oh, yeah, it's been really reliable. I haven't had anything really go wrong with it. Nice. So they have every car has their like recalls and their like things that go wrong here and there. You know what I mean? Normal wear points, I guess you could say. The only issue with these cars is like is like rear end noise and. Um, which is not, which is common. It's a big ass rear end, like it's gonna make noise. It's not, doesn't mean something's wrong with it. It's gotcha. just like, you get some wine, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
and uh, and the supercharger. There's an isolator that rattles from the factory, and it's retarded. So you can get that replaced with a solid isolator, and it's fine. So. All right. Any future plans for the car? Um, more power. Yep, that is fast. Yeah. <laughs> Transmission responds a little slowly. Do, when you race, do you do it in uh, sport? You don't shift with the paddles? If it's a roll race, I'll do paddle shifting. Okay, gotcha. But if it's just regular... Yeah, like a drag race. I'll sport mode, dude, because um, the difference is when it shifts in sport, just regular sport mode, uh -huh. it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. it harder than like the paddle. The paddle's a little less aggressive, only because that's how it's tuned. Gotcha. And how about launching the car? How do you, what do you do in terms of, are you just flooring it from? No, well, on the street, I pretty much can't launch it. Just yeah, yeah, but no, on the, on the on track. The strip, yeah. yeah, regular sport mode, no paddles. Uh, immediately half throttle, half to three quarter throttle, and then I roll in the rest of the first gear. Gotcha. And if it's prepped good, like it was the first time I raced it, it hooks. Yeah, Last nice. time, like I've raced last, uh, on Friday. Yeah, it's amazing how much difference. Even like in my all-wheel drive car, if the track isn't prepped right, it's it's a nightmare. Yeah. All right, what are some things you don't like about the car? Um, I don't like how dirty the freaking front wheels get because those <laughs> brakes, dude, those yep. brake pads are absolutely terrible on dust. Great brake pads. Just, this car weighs 4,100 pounds. Like, it's great stopping power for what it is. Dude, it's, uh, it's so dirty. That and like, I think um, I hate this. I hate this. I absolutely hate that. Yeah, the center system. console looks horrible. Uh, also, this whole like yeah, fucking... not just the looks, but the functionality of it, dude. Like I said, like it wasn't connecting my phone right. Like yeah. it's just it glitches out half the time. It's totally like unusable. There are times when like I'm fucking with it, and I'm gonna, like crash. Like where you're not, it's like hands free. It's supposed to be hands free, but it's not. So like I hate that about it. Um, I don't really have any have any like negative things about like the performance aspect because yeah for sure it's pretty good you know what I mean I don't have it's really not for what it, the car is like it's awesome. Do you ever have people in the back of the car? Yeah, that sucks too. So yeah. if you if you are if you are like anywhere above like five ten, you will hit your head on the back of this just sitting in the rear seat. Yeah, you'll be like this. And the leg the room time. looks pretty uh the leg pretty small. Great, yeah, but you can put bags back there extra storage space yeah well sweet man thanks for letting me drive your car make yeah. sure to subscribe to him can you spell out your uh youtube channel it's guitar mageddon guitar mageddon g-u-i-t-a-r mageddon m-a-g-e-d-d-o-n i think i spelled it right <laughs> yeah, like, see i don't know how to spell mageddon it's like guitar so. and armageddon put together that's that's how it is gotcha and one obviously sweet well i hope you enjoyed this video like always please browse our channel and subscribe look forward to seeing you next video